Sorry guys, I screwed up my testing of the previous build and the new one. The temperature fatigue system was not added recently. As such, I've removed any reference to that in the video. Sorry about that devs, my fault. We all know the story. You were fighting some zombies and got exhausted. So you try to lose them, but you just keep running into more and more. Now you're really exhausted and look at that, you're drowsy. You've entered the death spiral and without serious action, it's all over for you. This isn't happening to you by coincidence, it's by design. It's one of those hidden things in Zomboid that has its grip on everything you do and is probably the reason many of your characters have met an untimely end. Mr. Lamprey UK and I noticed that we were getting tired significantly faster than before. Mr. Lamprey was easily tiring himself out in half the normal amount of time, if not less, during his near 300,000 zombie kill run. Go stop by his stream and ask him how much it annoyed him. He'll love it. After a several hour session testing many things including weight, strength levels, and different actions, we came to the conclusion that it is temperature that increases the rate your fatigue builds up. To show the difference, I did a series of tests standing still with no clothes other than a pair of sneakers on. Each test, I incremented the outdoor temperature by 10 degrees and measured how long it took to reach the same amount of fatigue. The important thing here is the differences in core temperature. Only the coldest tests showed a chilly Moodle. No other tests showed the hot or cold Moodles, which means these differences are effectively invisible unless you are in debug mode. If you see the Moodles for temperature pop up, be aware that you are already near doubling your fatigue rate. Walking, running, swinging your weapon, even just moving items from one container to another all generate body heat. The true grasp this mechanic has on gameplay is vast. Sure, you can min-max the temperature changes with your clothing and even go naked during the summer. I made fun of the no pants gang in a previous video being meta, but this honestly messes with the fashion meta too. Seriously, being naked is meta during summer. I might as well install some mods and walk around looking like a kill a kill character. What can you do to combat this fatigue mechanic? Aside from wearing the proper clothes for the weather, which could even mean changing a few times over the course of a day, you need to focus on avoiding the same old mechanics that put you into the exhaustion loop in the first place. Running has a doubled or even tripled effect on the loop as it uses both your stamina and warms you up, which makes you tired. What is the exhaustion loop? It's a feedback loop between the stamina system and sleep system. The more fatigued you are, the lower your stamina regeneration. When you start to see the exertion moodles from using up your stamina, you begin to generate more fatigue, which speeds the loss of stamina regeneration. To cap it off, both being tired and out of stamina significantly reduce your damage, which makes fighting off the undead hordes waste even more stamina and generate yet more body heat. It's a nasty feedback loop that will quickly turn your otherwise strong character into a useless lump of meat shuffling down the street no faster than the zombies. The first step in planning against the exhaustion loop starts with character creation. You should be aware of any trait that reduces fitness or stamina region. Your fitness level determines your stamina region. I'll specifically mention overweight, obese, and very underweight because they have a double whammy of reducing your fitness and stamina region. This isn't to say you should never take those traits, but that you have to be aware of the exaggerated effect on your ability to stay awake and fight. I can only recommend that everyone playing single player take Wakeful. For two points, it makes a huge difference in how long you can stay awake and in peak fighting condition. Multiplayer is a different beast. With the vast majority of servers I know of and have played on using the Sleep With Friends mod, which still allows for the exhaustion loop, but sleep has been turned into a much needed excuse to get up and stretch your legs since the ability to pause is lacking. Certain actions can immediately increase your fatigue. I only know of digging furrows for now, but I wouldn't be surprised if other actions gain the mechanic in the future. You should be planning any of your farming work to happen right before you sleep as you are not going to be doing much after digging out your own field. That isn't to say it is always a detriment. If you screw up your sleep schedule, digging furrows to make yourself tired is a viable way to reset your schedule if you do not have items that either wake you up or make you tired to do it with. Dealing with the exhaustion loop during gameplay is fairly easy. Remember that the exerted moodles show up at certain percentage points of your stamina. If you proactively rest to top off your stamina before the first one shows up, you can avoid going into the death spiral until very late in your character's day when the natural generation of fatigue has reduced your stamina region. The speed at which you regenerate your stamina will become the tell for when you are nearing that drowsy moodle. The closer you get, the slower it regens. That will be your warning to stop risking it and go back to base for a good night's rest. If you push farther and that drowsy moodle shows up, it's time to take drastic action to escape the zombie horde you are currently facing. Whether that is running away or swallowing a packet of coffee whole, you need to do it now. If you waste time, you'll end up like this guy, surrounded by darkness, with a small sliver of hope. Normally I would have ended the video there, but I feel some feedback is needed on this system. I think the way it works is genius. Any activity that would generate body heat is likely to tire you out. 
hard work, fighting, even a fever from getting sick due to food, corpses, or the Nox infection itself. It's so tidy in the way it keeps everything immersive. It's the scope of the system and it's balancing that went wrong. To make this visual, here's an example of the limits of the body temperature system. But when you look at the current balancing, the real playable scope of the system is tiny compared to what it could be. There's also the problem where you can nearly half your awake time without even seeing a single Moodle. I see two ways to fix this. The first would be to significantly tone down the fatigue generation. I don't really see this as the correct answer to the problem as it removes the point of the system. I believe a better answer would be to remove the fatigue generation until the player has hit the first cold or hot Moodle. Then you can really hammer on fatigue generation to make it obvious you should be taking care of your character's needs. This would basically be the same way the current fatigue generation due to endurance usage works. You don't start generating noticeable fatigue until you hit that first exertion Moodle. But when you do, it's enough that staying exerted or worse quickly tires you out and it's your own fault when that happens. 